preparation of uh, being absent in classes in work, but it has also been rewarding and fulfilling. And this is one of the fights now we felt united with um, different organizations from all over the Philippines because this is not an isolated fight. When we talk about coal plants, when we talk about climate change, this is not only an issue here in Bacolod, it's not only an issue here in Negros or in San Carlos. This is replicated all over the globe and more specifically here in the Philippines. Youth activism has, is being looked upon as something negative sometimes. When you talk about um, activism, when you say the word activista, ang kasulod sa ulo natin, mga rallyista, ang kasulod sa ulo natin, um, mga dinabayaran, ang kasulod sa ulo natin, mga wala ubrahon sa kabuhit. The last part is true. We have nothing else to do, so we are um, trying to make something good in this society. Time is running out. That's one of the things that we want to highlight. If we are to trust uh, the report of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, which we should, because it's a report that has been um, compiled by 4,000 scientists and researchers from all over the globe, then we only have 11 years left to combat climate change. We only have 11 years left to mitigate our carbon emissions. Hindi ka maglabot sa point that we reach the 2 degree warming limit. Because when we reach the 2 degree warming limit, the climate impacts will be irreversible. This is what I always tell people uh, when I talk to communities and to schools. By 2030, by 2050, we won't even be fighting about whether or not si Mokha Uson, yung silo, yan na naman ang mga ngayon, sa diin naman yung lugar. We won't even be talking about petty politics or we won't even be talking about um, superficial things that we see on social media today. By, two, by 2030, by 2050, we will be fighting over food and water. I remember very clearly uh, when I was still in college, uh, roughly three, four years ago, summer splash naman, the theme was Beat the Heat. And uh, although it was, uh, uh, it was fun, it was um, enjoyable, of course, summer splash is always a thing to remember. Looking back, makita ko na nga, it's, it's what's happening in society today. What we are doing, uh, especially with the youth, we are actually just trying to beat the heat. We are products of a modern society. We have been born in this world, no wala not a choice, but uh, to do something about the current issues, not even just environmental issues, social issues, that we were born into. Uh, we were born into a broken world, Sang una natin yung mga mothers, fathers, grandmothers, other forefathers, all they, all their concern in life was to be, to go to school, to graduate, to get a job, to build a family, repeat the cycle, live a happy life, and die happy. That's it. And in the moments in between, they had good memories. They were, um, they were climbing mountains, they were swimming seas, and as of today, what we are doing, uh, at this very young age, we are already faced with such a lot uh, of issues, such a lot of things to combat because of the problems that our forefathers have created as well because of the Industrial Revolution. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, it, it saddens me and it, it makes me happy at the same time that in this movement, the younger, the younger, and advocates or an activists uh, about social issues and environmental issues. It saddens me because at this very young age, we are supposed to be enjoying our lives. We are supposed to be reaching for our dreams, doing what we want. Kami, what I told them last time, say sana mo, the activity. We were in front of the provincial um, capital. We were in front. Kay nag-pull kami to ka um, demonstration. I told them that uh, we weren't born into this world. Wala pa rin bunag sa ato ng mga Iloy para magkato sa tubang sa provincial capital at magprotesta. We were not born for this. This is not our destiny supposed to be. We were not born into this world para pangsaktoon ng ang mga salak na nagugra sa iban. But unfortunately, we do not have a choice. And again, what I said, time is running out. 
and it is uh, in this uh, it is in this lens na we are actively pushing and we are actively promoting activism because activism is not a bad thing it is not a negative thing the word act in itself is very positive we are doing something what is happening here today uh, me talking to you you listening whether passively or actively this will not have an impact in any way at all in our environment in our climate if this is just if this is the extent of what we do if makokoko if mamate lang kamo nothing will happen but what we need to do is first of all to educate ourselves and along with that is to educate others second is to organize and the third is to lead because we always have to move one step forward this is also a pretty good example in my talks. We should, uh, we are still in square one. We, we haven't left square one at all. Ara, nata sa point in time na grabe na din emergency for climate action. But still, what are we doing? We are still letting corporations put up coal fired power plants. Dibing sa adon isla. Negros is the renewable energy hub of the Philippines. Yet, we are allowing a coal fired power plant, a dirty energy source, to be put up in our um, locality. Why are we doing this? Why are we moving backwards? Global leaders and even local leaders have said that we are doing something to combat climate change. Um, there is an agros, we are known for our organic ordinance, organic agriculture, sustainable farming practices in some areas. But we can't stay in square one forever, especially when we have an 11 year deadline. It's such a small window, but it also means that we still have a small opportunity to act. Time is running out, but it's not too late yet. We have 11 years before 2030 to actively promote climate change in a bigger sense. And at the same time, um, practice individual behavior change para mag-translate into uh, comprehensive and concrete action ang mga gakalurita uh, online and in talks like these. When, uh, when we combat and when we uh, deal with uh, climate change and environmental issues such as plastic, such as um, uh, carbon footprints, carbon emissions, this is not something that we can change overnight. This is this is something that we have to gradually but patiently change within ourselves. Ang pinakawuso sa mong siguro na environmental issue is ang plastic because um, it's something that we see every day. And it's one of my favorite analogies or my favorite examples of individual behavior change. Because um, when we talk about um, climate and um, ecological justice, it's such uh, in a, uh, you need to be in organizations, you need to sign petitions, you need to, to be in big movements to actually make uh, an impact or to make a concrete change. But in small things like plastic, like uh, solid waste management, or um, even just proper garbage disposal, it's something that we can individually practice. And I guess this is where our um, where our Messiahian values, or even just humanitarian values, um, should be translated into. Every day when we when you see someone using uh, a plastic bottle, water, um, plastic straw, um, those are everyday reminders that the world still needs to act urgently. Because until today, the world is not uh, Wala ay inaway ang kalimutan kung importante ang plastic or hindi. Apart from, uh, unlike sa coal, sa fossil fuels that is needed for energy, plastic is seen uh, unanimously as the enemy. And yet, damo-damo, Japan, plastic producers as of today.